Welcome back to Rudy's 1-6 World for episode 6 of our new figure showcase, where I'll be doing a slight unboxing slash review slash posing session with the newest edition of my collection. And today, we'll be looking at a figure I've had in pre-order for a while now, and that is Mysterio's Iron Man Illusion from Spider-Man Far From Home, or to keep it simple, Zombie Iron Man. And before we get started, uh, sorry again for the delay on these uh, videos. Besides the obvious shipping issues, I, I was away for work this week, so I didn't have a chance to open them up before I left. But let's jump right in and look at the figure and more interestingly, look at what he's based on, which is a very specific scene from, from Spider-Man Far From Home, which as the name of the figure notes, is the scene where Mysterio creates an illusion to trap Spidey in. Uh, and one of the key elements of that illusion is, is the dead armored body of Tony Stark emerging from the grave and crawling towards Spidey. So again, it's a very specific figure. And I think the question ultimately becomes for us as collectors, if a figure that's so specific is something we want in our collection. And for me, the answer is a resounding yes. Not only did I really like the movie, but I thought this was a great moment um, in the film. And one of the, on top of that, as I noted before, one of the things I always like in figures is getting either new characters from the MCU or having characters that are significantly different from what we've had before. And let's face it, I think this illusion version of Iron Man is significantly different from anything that Hot Toys has released before. So first things first, the box this thing comes in is massive. And that's due in large part to the base, which is a highlight, but more on that later. Also, the other thing is the figure is not die cast, which I know is atypical for an Iron Man release. But given what they were going for here, I don't think it's totally surprising. But I do know that could be a deal breaker for some. So let's look at everything he comes with. And at first glance, it does seem like a lot, but a lot of the, I think it's a little misleading because a lot of those pieces are the base or pieces that connect to the base. Uh, and that's obviously a huge component here. Um, so let's start looking at, at the small drone that comes with the package. He's tiny and has a piece affixed to the front to create the image of a projection emanating from the drone. Overall, it's nicely done for such a small piece. But again, it, it's part of that display base, so I'm not sure that he should count as an accessory. A uh, figure also does include two swappable hands, although the ones that already come attached to the Iron Man figure are the ones with the posable fingers. So I think it would be my preference to keep those on for the moment. Now, let's get into some of the accessories that I think are going to be a little controversial. And, and those are the five holographic pieces that you get that are supposed to attach the figure's legs and feet. At first glance, they look okay, but once you handle them, you realize they're very low quality plastic. If I had to describe it, it's almost like the plastic you get with some of the water bottles um, where they're not too thick and, and you can really like crinkle them and crush them. Uh, so it just feels cheap overall. And it's a shame because for the cost of the figure, you would think Hot Toys would do better. The holographic panels that attach to the base are similar in material, although a little bit thicker. And I do think they benefit from that. Um, now let's look at the main accessory here. And that's the base. And I'll show you the fully assembled base a little bit later, but man, this thing is impressive. It, it really looks great with the Tony Stark headstone sticking out from the ground, which is cracked, showing all sorts of seams as if Tony has just emerged from the grave. And you have these nicely done smoke clouds that wrap around, which very much link this figure to Mysterio. So really nicely done here, and, and it definitely stands up. And I, I like the texture on the ground the best, but I think it really shines when you turn on the light of feature. And, and let's do that. And, and look at look at that. I, I mean, it, first off, it does come in two modes. So the first mode we're looking at here is just a, a constantly lit base. And the light here is really bright. And I like that it pops. And, and it, it's a nice bright green light that also comes out of the ground, giving the base this very spooky and eerie look. It's very appropriate, I guess, as we head into the Halloween season. But I, I think the second light up option is my favorite, which is a pulsating timed feature where it feels like the clouds in the ground are alive and with the light kind of going on and off, pulsing on and off. So it's really well done. And I love that the light up feature really pops. Now, this is the one one negative I have here is that I think this would have benefited from being a USB powered display but at least it doesn't take button cells. And, and that actually is a good transition to look at the figure itself. And here he is, Zombie Iron Man. And man, I think he looks amazing. 
He's going to fit in really nicely with the Age of Ultron Mark I, as well as the uh, upcoming Dead Strange. But it's just really nicely done. And, and let's start with the helmeted sculpt, which is damaged to reveal a decaying skull beneath. And it looks incredible. I, I don't even think the video is doing the figure justice, to be honest. There's just so much detailing and layering here with the skull, the teeth, the cracked nasal cavity, as well as the cracked helmet. And then the helmet itself is beat up and weathered and they painted it in a way where the silver elements almost look rusted through. And panning down, that level of deterioration extends from the chest armor through the waist down to the thighs and his legs as well, with the exterior armor panels looking like they're about to fall off and revealing the inner workings of the armor below. They did the same at the back of the figure with the paint app showing some signs of heavy rusting and wear. Uh, and Hot Toys effectively created those layers of exterior panels over underlying armor and circuitry. And they even have wire elements uh, throughout dangling from the chest, the sides of the figure, the arms, and also snaking through the underbody portion of the suit. So I have to say, I'm really impressed here. Even though it's, it's a plastic figure, Hot Toys did an amazing job with the paint apps and creating an image of what a zombified Iron Man could look like. I do though have a few complaints. Some of them minor, some others not so much. The first one is more a matter of personal preference, but you can see portions like his waist or right leg fully exposed. And we're seeing circuitry beneath, although I honestly think you'd probably be seeing bone at this point, similar to how Dead Strange looks. And I'm a little surprised we didn't see that, although maybe Hot Toys didn't want to get too gruesome. The other complaint, the batteries. We get more button cell batteries here and it's just annoying to install them and remove all the compartments from the armor and then the compartments housing the cells. Now. I'm gonna show you some video of the light of features and here's my biggest complaint and I'm gonna need your help uh, if you do have this figure. His repulsors and arc reactor all light up extremely brightly. The eye, however, I can see it's lit up, but it's really faint. And I'm curious if that's a typical thing with this figure or if I got something a little defective. I, I just can't imagine this is all we get for the head lighting up. The next complaint, and I kind of alluded to this when we were looking at the accessories, but it's the holographic panels that attach to the figure. These are terrible. It would be something if you could just slide them over the armor and they kind of clicked in, but you actually have to fold the tabs down, which I don't like at all, since I feel like you're creating a weak spot for these to just snap. And then you're supposed to tuck the folded portions of the panels into some of the cracks in the armor, and that's how they stay on. So I, I don't like the way they approach this at all, and on top of that, the panels don't sit nicely on the figure. The folded down tabs look ugly, and one of the bigger panels that goes on his left leg, I couldn't even get it to stick on. So I'll have to try and play around with them. Um, if I ever wanted to keep those on the figure, although chances are I'm gonna keep these in the box. I just think they look cheap and they cheapen the quality of the overall package here. On the flip side, let's take a look at the completed base, including the drone and the pixelated panels. Now, I thought I would hate the panels as well, since you also have to fold them and, and you do have to do all that nonsense and they are a little flimsy, but I actually think they look good with the base. I'm still gonna knock Hot Toys a bit on the material choice because it could have and should have been better, but at least what we get here isn't completely terrible. And I think it adds to the base and doesn't detract from it. So I'll accept those and probably keep them on because I think it does again create layers for the figure and tells a great story here. So overall thoughts as we see some poses in the background, I really like this figure and I'm happy I have it. Hot Toys did a great job here with creating a replica of a pivotal scene in the movie and the figure itself is pretty amazing. Even with some of the things that have that could have been improved. Now, it still stands out as a very unique piece in the collection, and you couple the figure with the phenomenal base, and you have something that just really stands out, and I think it's gonna be a highlight. And I think anybody who sees your figures would be drawn to it. For me, it was a no-brainer to get this, but as mentioned at the start, the figure will really only appeal to people who either like the piece by itself or love the movie in this particular scene. For collectors looking for general Iron Man representation, this clearly isn't the figure to get. There are a ton of diecast versions coming out that could give you that more classic look. But if you want something really unique, I do think this is a great option. I, I do wonder how many people ordered this guy, and I'm curious as to what his appeal is to collectors in general. But for me, I'm happy with him, and I think it was worth the wait. I do think at this price point, those flimsy plastic pieces are a no-go. That's a huge negative, and Hot Toys is lucky that the rest of the figure is so good that I can overlook those elements, and, and that the base works well with the plastic pieces as well. But at the price point that this is going for, I don't think that's acceptable at all. At all. And with other options out there now and other com competitors sim at similar price points, I, I think Hot Toys has to deliver when you release a figure like this. So while those are negatives, I am happy with the figure and I'm looking forward to adding him to the display. And I will try to keep that base lit up because it looks incredible with the lights on. So that's a quick look at another release. 
Fingers crossed I have another few figures coming in, um, including some Gangster's Kingdom figures, and I am expecting the Soso Kings to, uh, Soso Kingpin to ship soon, so hopefully uh, I'll have some additional reviews over the next few weeks. Um, now, what do you think of this figure? If you own him, is the dim light on the eye normal, or should I reach out to Sideshow for an exchange? And do you like this from Hot Toys, uh, this kind of unique piece, or do you think they're designed to appeal to such a small group of collectors that it's not worth it? Let me know what you think, and if you are enjoying the content, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll touch base on the next video.